Hi there, everybody. It's Coach John with the Boys and Girls Club of Metro Los Angeles. And today for sports and fitness, we're going to be doing what I call the jump pyramid workout. So a pyramid workout, for those of you who don't know, means that we're going to start off at higher reps. And as we finish each set, we're going to go down uh, to lesser and lesser reps. So a rep is pretty much the amount of times we'll be doing one exercise. So if I ask you guys to do 30 uh, squats, after the first set, the next set will go down to 20, and then after that, we'll go down to 10. So it's, uh, it's starting at our very best at the top and then going down lower to lower. The reason why I like pyramid workouts is that it helps us stay focused and motivated throughout the whole entire workout. And uh, part of the workout, we're gonna focus a lot on our mental kind of thought process while we work out. So what is it that we're motivated about and what keeps us motivated as we work? So think about that while you work out, and in the next bit, we'll go over our warm-ups, and then after that, we'll get right into our jump pyramid workout. Alright everybody, this is our list of warm-ups today. Feel free to pause the video if you need to, so we can get all of these warm-ups done. They're not a lot, but it's something that's going to help us get ready for our pyramid workout today. Alright everybody, so to start our jump pyramid workout, we're going to do the 30 double leg jumps. So these jumps are just going to be standard jump roping hops. And what we're going to do is we're going to count 30 times in our head, then afterwards we're going to do another drill. Next up you guys, we're going to be doing our squats. So again, a good squat is going to be one where your shoulders are aligned with your feet and then when you do bend your knees, your knees won't go over your toes. So we're going to do this 30 times, feel free to count it in your head and then after we complete this workout, we're actually going to move down to the next level of our jump pyramid workout. Alright you guys, and we're going to go back into our double leg jumps. A pyramid workout is pretty much two or three of the same drills that we're going to be doing over and over again. So we're going to go back into our double leg jumps and we're going to do this 20 times. Again, count it in your head and then we'll switch over to the next drill afterwards. Alright everybody, and for our next workout, for our jump pyramid workout, we're going to do our squat jumps. It's very similar to our squats, we're going to make sure that our shoulders and our feet are aligned. We're also going to make sure our knees don't go over our toes when we go down. But when we come up, we're actually going to make sure that we're exploding up and jumping as high as we can uh, to get that full effect of the workout in. Great job you guys, you guys are almost done. We're on our last level of our jump pyramid workout. For this last level, we're gonna do it in 10. So we're gonna do 10 double leg jumps and then 10 squats, but we're gonna make sure the 10 that we do are the best 10 that we've done all day today. Very good job today you guys. Uh, for our last exercise today we're going to be doing 10 squats. We're going to make sure that those 10 squats are going to be the most perfect squats that we've ever done. Keep yourself motivated. You guys are almost done. I'm so proud of all of you.
great job today, you guys, for the jump pyramid workout. Before we get into our debriefs, we'll do some cool down stretching. So feel free to pause the video real quick and then do all the cool down stretches you see on this slide. And then we'll get into our debriefs right after. Great job today, you guys, with the jump pyramid workout. Uh, I know it's only two drills, so I know it could be kind of repetitive. You don't, may not feel like wanting to do the same two drills over and over again. But with a pyramid workout, doing two drills is just enough. Trust me, you don't want to do it anymore. But when uh, we went to the beginning of the video, we talked about motivation a little bit. So uh, my debrief questions for you guys is actually going to be based on our motivation. So my first question for you guys is going to be, what kept you motivated to finish the workout? So you've watched the whole video this far. You've probably done all the workouts already. So why did you finish the workout and why do you feel like it motivated you to finish? Nice, yeah. So one thing that I always tell myself whenever I start to work out, uh, my motivation is just to make sure that I live healthier. So a healthy lifestyle is a big motivation of mine. So that could also be a motivation of yours. Or it could just be to finish the video and see what it was at the end. So those are both very good examples of motivation. And motivation can come in any shape or form, however you see fit. My next question for you guys is going to be, what are some things that you believe help motivate you throughout your normal life? So I'm talking about when you're doing schoolwork, when you're doing dishes or homework, or even if you're just hanging out with family, what helps keep you motivated throughout your time uh, when you're not working out? Nice, yeah. So like I said, motivation can come in many, many forms of different things. Uh, for working out, for me, it's making sure that I'm healthier. But when I'm doing schoolwork, it's making sure that I'm a good role model to my little brothers and also to make sure that I'm getting all my schoolwork done so I can have a free time on the weekends when I don't have to do anything. So make sure that you guys are thinking about motivation and what motivates you throughout the rest of the week. Uh, for our activities this week, on Wednesday from 6 to 7, we're going to be doing a family fun night. So that family fun night activity we're going to be doing is going to be called October Kahoot. So if you like Kahoot and you know a lot about October, feel free to join us and see if you can win any of our cool prizes. And then uh, every day, so yeah, every day we have uh, homework assistance from 2 to 3. And you can come in and ask any questions about your homework that you have. Maybe you need some help with math, science, or English, or whatever history sub or whatever subject it may be. Feel free to come in and uh, ask us, and we'll be there to help. Again, thank you guys for joining me today. Stay active and stay as active as you possibly can, and I will see you all next week.